Hello everyone and welcome back to Amanda C's Reborns and Baby Alive. Today I have a special unboxing that I would like to share. Um, the clues about what I'm about to open is it's Stitch and this nice space pattern. This nice space outfit. Just for a background, I don't have any spacey background, so that's that's it. That's your clue. So what does space and stitch have in common with our unboxing for today? Let's see, and here it is. It just came in, and from the box you can tell it's Walmart. I have it flipped upside down so you can't see the address and everything. So let's get started and see what's in this package. trying to do this with one hand. Let's see, I give a little peek around the corner. Oh, you can't really tell what it is. <gasps> Uh-oh, you see the word Hasbro and Disney. <gasps> what is, what, what could it be? Remember our clues. Stitch and space. And, up oh, here it comes. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's... Baby Yoda! Well, actually, you know, it's the child. But everybody calls him Baby Yoda. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Look at the details on the hair and the head. It's got, like, little drawn-on hairs. That's pretty neat. Wow. I pre-ordered this back on February 21st, and I just received it today. Wow. And this one is, makes noises. Oh, look at his little face. Isn't that not so cute? And he comes with the little froggy over here. And back in this corner over here is his little bowl. That meme is everywhere. Even if you've never seen The Mandalorian, you know <laughs> the reference of why there's a bowl and a frog. <laughs> Alright, let me turn the side. Oh man, I, I really don't want to tear up this box because, oh my gosh, that picture is adorable. It's kind of getting shine there. But yeah, space. If you couldn't guess, that's why I stitch in the space here. I had to have something. To kind of all oh, look, and here's the back of the box. Let me get that so it's not so blast, ah, not so blurry. And there we go. A mysterious alien pursued by bounty hunters on behalf of imperial interests. Wow. Ten sounds. And then there's the frog in the bowl. They're putting the frog in in front of his mouth. Too bad he couldn't open his mouth to put the frog in and have it hanging out. That would be adorable. But the fact he's got his little bowl, hey, I'm, I, I'm, wow, I don't, I don't want to mess up this box. Oh my goodness. And here's instructions and everything down here. Customer service. Just showing all the info. And there's the kind of batteries it takes. Wow, it takes three. Of the 1.5 volt. Just showing this for everybody that likes to see the whole box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it real quick and get him out. Alright, I'm back. What well, took about five minutes for me, it was only a few seconds for y'all, but he's out. And with some finagling, I was able to get the box, get him out of the box without too much damage to it. And everything you see here is what comes in. Here's his little bowl. It's like it's got a nice texture on it. It's thick. It, it feels plastic, but kind of rubbery. Well, it's nice and solid. And his little alien frog didn't notice that the frog only had one eye. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Okay, enough playing with the frog. You're not here to see the frog. Okay, and then they gave you some instructions on how he works. Oh, he can hold the frog! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to do that. And how to 
put batteries in and take the batteries out. Do I have this upside down? Yes, I do. There we go. This is where they're showing you how to remove and re put in batteries. And then there's warning. This is not recommended for children under three. And this has almost every language you can imagine with the warning about the batteries, which are very important because if they're not treated right, that can cause a lot of bad things. My hubby and I race RC cars and yeah. Let one of those batteries explode and see what happens. <laughs> All right, but enough about that. And there he is. Baby Yoda, how does it feel your first day home? I'm going to keep calling him Baby Yoda. I know he's not Yoda. I know he's the child, but, you know, I like to call him Baby Yoda. You can call him YJ, Yoda Jr. I'm just kidding. We don't even know. But let's take a closer look. So his head is vinyl. Let's see, his, his, his ears are a, a stiff vinyl, so they don't move, so I would recommend if a child play with this, do not let them bend the ears, because I'm pretty sure that would ruin his poor little ears. Here's the back of his head, and if I can get close enough, you can see there's the tiny little hairs, the little furs that they replicated on his head and his ears. And there's his little hands. There's my thumb for comparison. Sorry, I haven't painted my nails yet. And his cute little hand, and there's his cute little nails. This is a, a nice little fabric. On the inside, it's fuzzy. On the outside, it's just like a just a regular... It feels almost kind of like felt, maybe. And the little top part, this is super soft. Whatever material his little collar's made out of, it is... Oh, it's very super soft. And then underneath is his body. The same material as the outside of his cape. He's squishy. And here's his little feet. Oh, so it's got cute little feet. And it's very sturdy vinyl. It's not um, what you would find on a, a Reborn or anything like that. It's a, it's a hard plastic. The more I'm looking at this, oh, okay, I can see this. It kind of, kind of felt like the, the little robe was inside out, like backwards. But then I can see the stitching on the inside. All right, and I left this on. I didn't clip it out. It says squeeze. So let's see if I can make him talk with one hand. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Oh my goodness, do it again. Oh my goodness, this is so much cooler than a, a, a baby doll baby making noises. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. It's pulling at my heartstrings. Oh, I'm sorry. These sounds are way cuter than regular baby doll baby sounds. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. That is so cute. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can get you to hold the froggy. Hold one second. I'm back again. And look, he can totally hold his froggy. Oh, my goodness. Here, get in your mouth. Nom, 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> and it looks like he can also hold his little bowl too. How cute is that? I wasn't expecting him to actually to be able to hold it. That is so cute. And I found this um, on Walmart. It was uh, $24.99. So if you're interested, um, I think they might be back ordered now because we got an error message saying it was back ordered, but then it said it was shipped. We ordered, pre-ordered ours back in February, so they might be a little bit tough to find now they're out. But who knows? You can find them on Walmart or Amazon, and definitely you can find them on eBay. He is so cute. Well, we say, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.
and we'll see you in the next video.